Sleep is gradually coming to my eyes. Where is Christine? There you are. I was wondering where you were. I went inside to change into a more comfortable cloth. I can see that. I wanted to let you know I'm planning on going to sleep any moment from now. That's okay. You already know your way to the bedroom. So feel free to sleep anytime you feel like it. Okay, thanks. But first of all, I would like us to have a short night prayers before we finally sleep. I hope you don't mind. That's a brilliant idea. Let's pray if that is what you want us to do before we sleep. Let's begin the prayers. Heavenly Father, as we prepare to sleep tonight, we ask for your loving protection. Watch over us and our loved ones, keeping us safe from harm and danger. Surround us with your angels, Lord, and let your peace fill our hearts. Shield us from any fear or worry that may try to disturb our rest. Cover us with your wings and surround us with the blood of your Son Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that wonderful prayer. You're welcome. I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. It's time to give her the beating of her life like others. What is this? Why can't I get through to her? Let me try again. Stop wasting your time. Evil entities like you cannot be allowed near God's anointed. Be warned. Oh I see. You are sent to protect her against me. He belongs to me. Tell her to leave him alone for me. I won't allow her to ever have him. I am not your messenger. Be warned. I'm losing my patience. There has to be another way to make her run away. Since my spiritual cane can't do the job, I have to find another way to pursue her out of his life. You can see me right. I am in your dreams. I came into your dreams on purpose. Who are you? And what are you doing inside my dream? You said you came to me on purpose. What purpose is that? Good question. I came to warn you. Warn me about what? Warn you about Chris, the man you are in his house. But who are you? I am his wife. I am the daughter of the water goddess. I am the owner of the bed you're sleeping on. What do you think you are doing in this house? There is absolutely no place for you here. I will not allow you take him away from me. Everything in this house is mine and no other woman will be allowed inside this house. Count yourself lucky that I didn't use my cane on you tonight. The next time I see you here, you might not be this lucky again. Come tomorrow morning, pack your belongings and leave this place. Never return here again. Hope you heard me clearly. You lied. Light and darkness has nothing in common. You are not the owner of the things in this house. Okay. This bed doesn't not belong to you. It belongs to me now. Everything in this room and house now belongs to me. I am not afraid of you because I have the power of God inside of me. I am the one here now from today moving forward. I don't want to ever see you here again. Take your hands off my man. He is mine now. We are going to get married soon and there is nothing you can do about it. He is my husband not yours. I'm not going to run away from him or from this house because I have come to stay for good. How dare you talk to me like that? I have warned you but you don't want to listen. This battle and fight is bigger than you. Better leave now that it's still early for you. You are going to regret your life if you refuse to do as I have instructed you. My head is spinning. What was that? Was that a dream? I was in a trance with some strange looking woman. But who is she and why did she come to me? I dod I have such dreams. 
She said this bed belongs to her. She said I was sleeping on her bed. This type of dream is scaring. What am I getting myself into? Oh, I got carried away by sleep on the chair. Mary. Where is she? I hope she hasn't left the house while I was sleeping. Let me listen carefully and make sure she's not screaming. She ought to have started screaming and running out of the bedroom by now. What happened? I hope she's okay in there. This one I'm not hearing her scream. Should I go and check up on her? It's now 3 a.m. in the morning. Does it mean the strange woman hasn't appeared to her yet? I'm nervous. I better go check on her. Let me peep into the bedroom to see if she's still there. She's actually still lying peacefully on the bed sleeping. I guess I will return to the living room and wait till morning. I can't conclude anything for now. Oh. It's finally morning. I will quickly go to see Christine. Mary my dear. You are awake. That means she didn't get beaten like the other girls. How comes? I must ask her to find out. Good morning dear. How was your night? It was very good. Come and sit next to me. I have few questions to ask you. <clears throat> what is it you want to ask me? How should I ask her this question so she doesn't suspect anything? You're not saying anything. <clears throat> this morning, it was laid in my spirit by the Holy Spirit that you had a dream last night. A dream? What dream? Yes, a dream. You had a dream last night? and the faith of this relationship and marriage plans depends solely on the outcome of the dream you had. Dream? What dream? Oh yes I remember. I actually had a strange dream last night. I almost forgot. But how did you know I had a dream? The Holy Spirit told me. So tell me about it. I can't wait to hear it. I saw a strange looking beautiful lady in my dream. She came challenging me that I should get off her bed. She told me that the bed and the entire room and house belong to her, including you. At first, I was surprised and scared of her. But I mastered up courage in my dream to command her out of the room instead. I saw myself challenging her back. I told her if the bed was hers before, that right now, it no longer belongs to her but me. She got really furious and angry. Then I woke up. I wanted to come out to tell you about it, but I decided to sleep back. So that's all about the dream I had last night. I'm still wondering how you knew I had a dream. Yes, yes. Yes. You are truly the woman for me. This dream is a very big sign. I will call my mom and sister to inform them immediately. We have to fix the date for our wedding as soon as possible. I will be back. Why is he acting all up this way? Why is this dream so important to him? Who knows? But anyways, I'm so happy everything is moving well. You may be happy. But I'm not. And when I'm not happy, even you won't remain happy for long. You do not know the forces and powers you are going to contend with for the rest of your life. You better quit now that it's still early. So my son, we have to go immediately to do the marriage right so she can officially become your wife. Okay mom. Thank you my dear sister for helping me get a prayerful girl. It's okay. We are happy for you. Let's prepare for the marriage ceremony. Okay. I will go to Mary's hospital to see her when I dismiss from work. She hasn't finished seeing that patient. That means I will wait longer. Oh, there she comes. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, dear. Sorry I took long to come out to see you. It's okay. Come sit next to me, let's talk. I came to inform you that we will be coming to do all the necessary things custom demands for you to become my wife. Is that so? Which day are you coming? In five days time. I'm happy. If you are done, let me drop you off. Okay.
Listen and listen real good. You cannot marry that girl when I am in your life. If you say you love your life, then make sure you never disobey these words from me. Do not do the marriage rites to make her your wife, else you will be in great danger. Don't say I didn't warn you. What was that? The strange woman in my dream said I shouldn't go ahead with my marriage plans with Mary. I can't take her words for granted. Because when she says something, she means it to the latter. I must do as she has said. What should I do? I already told her family we will be coming to do as their traditions requires. Should I call them to cancel it? If I do, everyone including my family will be disappointed in me. Mary too will be heartbroken. My sister will not be happy. I must think of something to do. Think. Christine, think. You have to think of something. Yes. I know what to do. I will come up with a good plan in order to balance out everything. I will deceive Mary's family and trick them into believing that I'm coming to do the said marriage, but I will find a way to counter the marriage the same day by demanding something from them before leaving. That will serve as a replacement for what I spent on her that day. In the eyes of Mary and her family, I have married their daughter, but in reality, I did not. The strange woman will not be able to harm me because in the spirit realm, Mary won't be seen as my wife. This is a good plan. I will tell Mary to inform her family in time that they are to give me loads of gifts on that day. They have to prepare the special gift beforehand. That will serve as a return of all the things I did on her behalf on that day. Mom, Chris said I should let you people know that when they come to fulfill the marriage rites, our family will have to present him with certain gifts. Give him gifts. Why? He said it's their family tradition. Really? What type of tradition is that? I have never heard of it. Me too. But we just have to get the gifts ready for the day. Okay. If he says so. These are all the things Mary's family demanded for the marriage. It cost me $750. I will make sure they give me things worth the same $750, so it will be like give and take. I'm only doing this because my hands are tied. The strange woman has warned me, and I must do everything to make sure I don't disobey her. Mother let's go. Okay, I can't believe you will finally become a married man soon. Congratulations my son. Thank you mom. Father, thank you for welcoming us into your family. We are grateful. It's my pleasure. I'm handing over my daughter to you. I'm equally handing you over these gifts as your own tradition demanded. Thank you father. These items I see here, is a perfect gift to replace all the money I spent today. That's good for you. You are very lucky. I'm happy the marriage ceremony went on fine. But why did the father-in-law give Chris so much gifts like that? That must be quite expensive. I was surprised too. I didn't want to start asking about it in the presence of everyone. Maybe it's how their tradition is. That's true. Maybe. Where is Chris? Let him come out so we van go home. I'm so happy to see he has some respect for me. I will use that to my advantage. Make sure you don't do things with her as a wife. Don't forget I'm right here. I am your original wife. Your one and only wife. There shall be no other beside you except me. I am a jealous wife. So be warned. What? You mean I shouldn't do things with her? But she sees me as her husband. No, you're not her husband. You belong to me. Your allegiance is to me and not to any other woman. You can't live the normal husband and wife life. That's my order. She has to suffer for choosing my own husband among all the men around. Okay. I will do as you said. Not again. I'm in spiritual bondage. I came to sleep. You came to sleep where? What do you mean? What type of question are you asking me? I came to sleep on the bed. It's past midnight. I'm sorry but you cannot sleep on this bed. Where else do you want me to sleep? I'm your wife and we should sleep on the same bed. If you insist on sleeping here, 
then I'm afraid, I will go to the other room or the sitting room to sleep. I can't share the same bed with you. It's as simple as that. What is the meaning of that behavior from him? I notice he doesn't like sleeping in this bed once he sees me on it. This is getting out of hand. I guess I will have to sleep alone again this night. I will sleep on this couch. I don't want any troubles from the strange woman. My husband, good morning. Why do you refuse to sleep on the bed with me? Why do you prefer sleeping here alone every time? It's nothing. Okay, no problem. I'm going into the kitchen to make some delicious breakfast for the two of us. We'll let you know when it's ready so we can eat. Okay. Food is ready, dear. Let us eat. Why is this kitchen dirty? I don't eat food cooked in a dirty kitchen. Dirty kitchen. But I was going to clean up everywhere once we are done eating. No way will I eat food in the same plate with you. You don't know how to keep the house tidy. It's either I make the food I will eat by myself, or you serve me my food in this plate I have washed myself. In fact, today, I will go to the supermarket to buy a new plate, spoon and cup. I don't want to ever see you touching or using them for any reason. I don't want to share my plate, my cup, and my spoon with you or anyone else in this house. I hope I'm understood. What? But I'm your wife. Why can't I share your things with you? It doesn't matter if you are my wife or not. I don't want to be using the same cup, plate and spoon with you. It's very simple. What did I get myself into like this? I married a man who doesn't want to share things with me. Not our bed, not the spoon, plate or cup. This is not marriage. Let me sit here and check my emails. What? Why are you sitting down on that chair? Is anything the matter if I sit on this chair? That chair is my personal chair in this house. I don't want you sitting on it. You can sit on any other one, but you see that one. Please, avoid it for me. It's only for me and me alone. Get up from it. Even if I'm not around in the house, don't sit your butt on it. It's my favorite chair in this house. What? So I can't also sit on this chair because it's your special chair. I didn't know about having special chairs around the house no one else could use except today. Are you happy now? Better. I must find a way to make him sleep with me today. How is it even possible that since we married, he has never touched me? Let me go to him. What has come over you? What's going on with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I just want to be with my husband. Is there anything wrong in that? Let's go into the bedroom. I need you, babe. Please stop it. I'm not in the mood for this. You are never in the mood. Am I not attractive? How will I get pregnant? Your mother and sister has been disturbing me about it. But they don't know it is your fault. Maybe it's time I let them know what I have been passing through in this marriage. This marriage is not what I thought it would be. I'm married, yet I feel single. Strange woman, please, my wife has been disturbing me to be intimate with her. Allow me so I can go and meet her. It will break me. But I will allow you to go to her, since you have asked me very nicely. Thank you. Maybe I should go to her now before it's morning. What are you looking for in this room? I thought you don't want to be here when I'm here. I came to apologize for everything.
Dr. Mary, are you okay? I'm not feeling too strong today. I suggest you go home. I will tell Dr. Leah to cover for you. Don't worry I can manage. Dr. Mary, you test results are out. It shows you are pregnant. Are you saying the truth? Let me see. It's actually true. Thank you my Lord Jesus Christ. This is answered prayers. I'm happy for you Dr. Mary. She's pregnant. I'm going to make sure you never have his love even in this pregnancy. I will make sure every pregnancy you will ever carry for him will be your worst experience. Guess what my darling? I'm pregnant. Wow, that's good news. I'm happy we are going to be parents soon. I'm going to the bedroom to change my cloth. He seems happy. But he doesn't look so excited as I expected. Anyways let me not think too much about it. I'm so hungry. Let me go to the kitchen and eat something. So satisfying. What are you doing? I'm eating food. Come and join me, it's very delicious. Is that not my spoon and my plate? How dare you use my plate and spoon to eat? Heaven I warned you never to use them. You did this on purpose to provoke me. Stay within your limits. Christine, why did you beat me? Is it because of a simple plate and spoon? Have you forgotten that I'm pregnant? You could have simply reminded me so I dropped them for you. I was provoked immediately I saw you with them. Welcome home my husband. I can see you have started. Started with what? Why are you sitting on my chair? How many times will I ask you not to sit there? Is that the reason for this? Okay, I'm sorry. What rubbish? Simple instruction, she can't obey. I know I must be pregnant now. This must be my third pregnancy. Because each time I'm pregnant with his baby, that is when he will begin to brutalize me. It has become a regular pattern. I don't need to go to the hospital to do a pregnancy test, because what he did just now, is a confirmation of it. I said it. My results shows I'm pregnant. I am tired of this type of marriage. Pastor I'm tired of this man. We don't live as husband and wife should. We don't sleep on the same bed, we don't eat with the same plate. I could never use the spoon or cup that belonged to him to drink water or eat food, if I do, I'd be in great trouble with him. Each pregnancy I carried in that house, is like hellfire for me. Pastor I'm tired. Um, this is serious. Mary, are you aware that your husband has a spiritual wife? What? Spiritual what? Yes. That is what is behind your marital problems. Spirit wife is disturbing him. And that is why he can't love you the way you expect him to, or the way he should. If he does, the spirit wife will come after him. In the realm of the spirit, you are not even married to him but to the strange woman. Pastor I believe what you are saying. I can remember the dream I had before we got married. But I didn't pay attention. A strange looking beautiful lady came to my dream and warned me not to marry her husband else she will deal with me. And my husband knew about my dream, because I remember that morning he asked me about it. Oh I was so dumb. I couldn't read the handwriting on the wall. But pastor, how is this even possible? He got entangled with this strange spirit when he was very little. He traveled to the village, and while he was there, he followed others to the stream to fetch water. That's where everything happened. I never knew these type of stories are true. So a strange feminine spirit possessed him while he was always swimming in the village river. Yes. What can be done to save him and save my marriage? We can't allow a strange spirit to continue to torment him or my marriage again. You are to start serious prayers in that house. Midnight prayers is good too. He doesn't allow me to pray much in the house. Find a way to do it. 
you will see him manifest the strange woman before your very own eyes. Midnight. Okay, I will do it. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I come to you today on behalf of Chris, my husband, asking for your divine intervention and deliverance from any spirit spouse. We know that you are the only one who can set him free from any spiritual bondage and oppression. We ask for your protection and guidance to keep Chris safe from any spiritual attack. We pray that you would fill him with your Holy Spirit and give them the strength and courage to stand firm in their faith. We ask that you would break any chains of bondage and set him free from any spirit spouse. We thank you for your power and mercy and we give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, Amen. What's that sound like someone struggling in their sleep? Could it be my husband? Let me go and check. I own you. You belong to me, Chris. She cannot break the bond we share. You are my captive forever. That's a big lie. Get behind me, Satan. What is going on with him? Why is he struggling in his sleep and making that sound? Strange woman, go away from me. It was only a dream. Are you okay? I heard you screaming in your sleep. I had a terrible dream. I suggest we go and see Pastor today. You think so? Yes. Okay, you succubus. I command you in the name of the Holy One Jesus Christ, out from his body this minute in Jesus' name, Amen. Ah. Ah. No, no, no. How dare you do this? No, no, no. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. That was how my marriage became better. It hasn't gotten the way it should, but right now, I can say it is now better than what it was in the beginning. I will drop the prayer points I prayer in the comment section see that the video doesn't become too long. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.